And this is about the time your jaw hits the floor and you realize you're in love. Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. Today I want to talk about the Midwest Tool Collectors Association. It is a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Now if you're not in the Midwest, that is not a reason to turn off the video because it is all over the place and I want to talk about that a little bit further today. Uh, now I was recently at the National uh, Tool Meet down in Springfield, Illinois and uh, the National Meet is huge and a lot of fun and all the video clips you're going to see today are from that meet. Uh, but there are local meets all over the place and they're trying to get them in every every state um, and we're looking for people who can are willing to host them out there. Um, I'd love to see uh, a few of them out on the west coast eventually so if you're interested in hosting an event out there uh, we might be able to do something with that. So I want to show you a little bit about what the Midwest Tool Collectors Association is and a little bit about the most recent meet in Springfield, Illinois. Let's go take a look. So this is on the Thursday of the event and there are tools everywhere. Everywhere you look there are old tools and new tools and cool tools and tools that need to be restored. And you get a lot of inspiration about what are the what is the history of the tools, what are things that you can do if you're making tools to make them better, and just learning about them. The saws everywhere, um, restored, needing to be restored, ready to be used. Um, tool chest with the maker's tools still in them. Um, inspiration in all sorts that way. And there are people people everywhere you go that have information about them. So you ask them, what is this? And they will tell you and give you a lot of other information. Back saws, things that are hard to find. Hand planes are everywhere. They are dripping out of every table and around every corner you turn. Here's a scroll saw that I bought. This is the uh, Empire frame for it. And here's the head. I'm really looking forward to building this up, but I, I don't know of many places where I could go and find a scroll saw like that. You get uh, the history of tools where they can actually line up uh, variations of the tools and how they've grown. These are wagon wheel jacks from when the frontiers were going across the country. Tools that you can't find other places, the Stanley 55 and 45 uh, Stanley shooting board, which is, um, I'd love to get one of these days. They are hard to find, but you can find them here. Even some of the makers are making some of their own tools and bringing them to show. These were all brass heads carved by someone. Tools from the 1600s and 1500s. Uh, you're just not going to find it at your average garage sale. Uh, this is a uh, bench vise and a crossbow and other things that were made in the 1500s. Um, Stanley bedrock planes that you just can't find anywhere. Inspiration on tools that you want to make. This is just a bent piece of metal that someone turned into a hand plane. Love how that came out. This is a, uh, a Festool Domino, an old version of an oscillating head with a drill bit so you could put in mortises just like the Domino did but with, uh, with a hand crank. Uh, where are you going to find that other places? Tools that were brought over from England and restored and ready to use and uh, beautiful pieces of inspiration and things you wouldn't expect to find anywhere else. Then later on you come inside and there is an even larger space with more tools inside. And you get to learn and buy and have a lot of fun. And then there are events during the day where you can actually learn from people who collect them, the history and uh, some of the reasons behind the tools. Midwest Tool Collectors is buying tools. Learning about history. Drooling over the things you want to get. Picking your jaw up off the floor at the unbelievable. Learning about the types of tools. Where they come from, what makes them different, and what makes them special. Finding new things you didn't even know existed. Hanging out with tools and fun friends. Meeting old friends and making new ones. Finding the part for that broken plane you've been working on. Finding inspiration for that next project you want to work on. Saying, one of these days, I'm going to play with one of those. A place where you can find amazing deals. These plow planes are all $55 or $65 a piece. Straight from England. Midwest Tool Collectors is an organization that collects antique tools, but it's far more than that. It's a, collect, a group of friends who get together throughout the year, look at tools, study tools, research tools, and use tools. They're all people that like to have fun with tools, that have a good time at our meetings, and we're just a friendly bunch. About a thousand fellow tool collectors 
where we know each other's interests and hobbies, and we support each other in finding the tools for each other's interests and hobbies, and we can buy better tools cheap at a cheaper price, and we have a whole lot Because of this was order. only 55 bucks. There you go. I really hope this wet your whistle for hand tools, learning more about them, and uh, getting involved with the Midwest Tool Collectors Association. Um, and as I've said before, if you're not, you know, in the Midwest or you're not near a uh, currently running event, um, definitely go take a look at the website and uh, see. Well, number one, is there one near you you didn't know about? Or number two, would you be willing to host one? Uh, if you are in an area that doesn't have one, um, you might just be able to host one and get some people to come out there and sell tools, show tools, and and, uh, talk about them and it's a really kind of a cool event even the local ones are like a basketball court size um, event with uh, people <laughs> selling hand tools and uh, it's a fantastic place to find those tools that are really hard to find in other places and get to know the people who love them and the sport itself and it's a lot of fun. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like and go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, I want to say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why I can keep putting out videos like this. If you'd like to help out with that, you can find down the link right over here. Also, if you like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.